Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Am I doing a deck profile? A Yu-Gi-Oh! regional deck profile? Yes, I am. This is a top eight this morning regional deck profile. It's me, your host, the queen, the HBIC Vexicus 4666, giving you guys a deck profile. And it's you, Bell. Now, you guys currently know if you guys go on Edo Dope Dub Pro, wherever it's called, not on Dueling, Net, Dueling Book yet. If you try to look for me, I'm not on there. I am on there, but it says I haven't been on there in three years. I'm on my alternate account. But anyway, this duelist, I do not know the name because this was in my uh, lovely uh, Ubel group. Not mine, but I'm in one. And this person pretty much got top eight. And it was pretty cool. His, his uh, name was Christopher Hughes. I'll post the image up if you guys want to see it later. Or you guys, you follow me on my Facebook fan page, Vexicus4666. You can see it there. But he top eight it with you, Bell. He got in seventh place. And the other decks were, let's see, there was five Fire Kings, one Virtual World. I do not know what that is. Um, the other one was Cash Tira. I think I'm saying that right. And then obviously you, Bell. So let's go over his deck. Now, like I said, I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh cards very much anymore. I kept up with the Ishizu, Ishtar stuff. And then I slowly fell off the circuit. So I'm slowly getting back into it. But I hopefully will have a U-Bell deck soon. Only way I'm coming back, if I have a U-Bell deck, the deck I need for that, the field spell and the play man. I need all that stuff to play you bell because you bell was my favorite. Jesse Dark, Jesse Dark, you bell. Mm, this player did it. Now, I don't know, understand his choices. I don't know. I've been just playing full you bell. I'm just like having fun on Dub Pro and all that stuff. But he's playing like cards like Tour Guy and Phoenix Rush Warrior. I'm almost said Rhino. Phoenix, yeah, Phoenix Rhino Warrior. And stuff so let's get into it he plays the he play a, a small unchained engine i should have put these together so let's do that now put those three together we got the three up unchains uh i know this card is really good i know this card is also a super in ots 24 see i keep up a little bit so three unchained now two dark beckoning beasts these are from i do believe the sacred beasts starter deck structure deck three-dimensional shifters if you have no cards in your graveyard you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard until the end of your turn any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead now i need someone to explain why this is good i'm trying to figure it out but it's not clicking yet like i said i haven't really played so my Yu-Gi-Oh side of my brain is not kicking in because i've been playing digimon and you have a phoenix Rhino Warrior obviously goes with Tour Guide, two Nibiru's, three Subsara D Lotus. I like the Japanese name better. I think it's like called like Regenerating Hand or something. Three Spirit of Ubells, three Tour Guides. This card is so good. It's like a Stratos in a way, and it's like a Battle Fader. When you get to, you get attacked, you can bring it out. Then you can search for anything with Ubell in its name. I do believe a spell or trap. You can add a. Uh, Set spell or trap card with Ubel in his name. Um, what else is in this lovely deck? Uh, obviously, one Ubel, the original. You know, this card is a lot of damn money. I need a secret rare of this. And I think it's like 40, 60 bucks. I wish I still had. I don't know what I did with my old Ubel stuff. Okay, I'm getting off topic. And then Ubel Terror Incarnate. He only plays that you really don't need the final form until the next set comes out when we get the throne and um, uh, Grave Swarmer. Personally, I'm going to play all three. But you don't need it. But that's good. Then you have the new card. Uh, I love Nightmare Pain. This card is Ubel's signature attack when it gets attacked or whatever from the show. You experience all the pain Ubel feels. So when she takes battle damage, or he, is she in Japanese, I mean English, and then he, he in English, whatever. Basically, you take the damage. During your main phase, you can destroy one dark monster in your hand or face up on the field. And if you do, add one, one Ubel or one card that mentions it from your deck to your hand, except Nightmare Pain. Let me go back to it. You can only use the effect of Nightmare Pain once per turn. While you control Ubel, 
Your opponent's monsters that can attack must attack you, Bell. Basically, if they're in attack mode, they have to attack you, Bell. Your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from battle involving your you, Bell. Basically, the nightmare pain that the original you, Bell has has that effect of taking the damage. So your other forms and spirit also gets that effect. The spirit only takes the no battle damage. Then you got one for one. Opening of the spirit gates. This is really good with your dark beckoning beast. Basically summon dark beckoning beast. Then activate. You get this. And then you get to search this. And then you can also discard the other copy in your hand. To bring out a spirit you bell or you bell that's in your graveyard. And then pot of prosperity. I don't know about this. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think about this. Banish three to six cards of your etcher deck. See, that's kind of scary because I don't want to lose this or this. We'll get to that later. And then my favorite card, the, the, the Supreme King Calling card, Super Polymerization. This is the card that stops the, the dreaded Fire Kings and all that stuff, what I've been noticing, even when I play too. You got Super Polymerization and you somehow got a bell on the field. Super Poly, get rid of everything. And then Escape of the Unchained, because like I said, it has a small Unchained engine. And then... Two Eternal Favorite. This is basically a small Super Poly, which is really nice. Um, you're going to activate the, one of these effects once per turn. You have you bell basically you can special summon you bell from the from the grave or the banished area, which is nice. And then neither player can activate cards or effects when that monster is summoned. So that is good. Other effect, if you control a you bell Discard one card and send this face-up card to the graveyard. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from either field as fusion material, including a Ubel monster. Basically, got super poly and you can use your opponent's stuff. Three infinite impermanence. Now, I don't know what the other four cards are because when the deck profile was presented in the Ubel um, group, the guy did not have four cards in it. I'm guessing he just made the deck real quick and then, hey, it worked for him. He plays three art artifact Lancia. I know what that is. Three Ghost Bell Haunted Mansion. I know what that card is. I know what this card is too. Two Lightning Storms. And then three Evenly Match. Now some of the extra deck stuff I do not know. Like this Garuda card. Wing of Resonant Life. I have never seen this card. This must be like a newest thing. But it's good. Two monsters with the same type and attribute. So things like Fire Kings and stuff. You can just play Super Poly and then do some stuff. And then you got to play Mud Dragon of the Swamp. Two monsters with the same attribute again, super poly target. And then Predator Plant, Drago. I ain't gonna try to pronounce the rest of that. And then Starving Venom, Fusion Dragon. I know what that is. And then you bell the loving defender forever. And then Gustav Max Cannon. And then the Dark Charmer Gloomy. Nightmare Phoenix. Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, what's this? Mud Racker from the Underworld. And then this new Unchained Monster, Abomination. Um, an Unchained Soul, Lord of Yami. And another Unchained Soul of Rage. This basically gives you a little um, Unchained Engine of the deck. But like I said, I'm really proud of this player. I might try this deck out on Dub Pro and see if I can get it to work. So let me know what you guys think. I don't know if I'm fully back, but I will try to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh! with you, Bell. And believe it or not, I am trying out Crystal Beast because I've seen a whole bunch of cool combos with Crystal Beast that you can do now. And you, Bell. And it's like, yes, this is all you, Bell, Dark Jesse, all that stuff. I love it. Congratulations to Christopher. And this deck is amazing. I'll see you guys next video. And I hope you guys watch the halftime show because Usher was amazing. It can't control it! Dark Phoenix rises! <laughs> Open right now! Hades Gate! How clumsy! Burn in the flame! I've destroyed whole planets, so what chance have you got? Das Absherich Dita. ユベルダスアプシェリヒリタがこの次元から消えたとき、僕の究極の形態、ユベルダスエクストレームトラウリヒドラフェが降臨する。<笑>